Hey everybody, welcome to Under the Loop with Grant Caliber. My name is Marco Nicolini, as you guys know. We've got a few watches to show you guys today, so sit back, relax, and enjoy what I've got to show you because we've got some really cool pieces in from Rolex to a couple of Pateks. First watch up. It's not often you see Rolex 1680s come in this complete, and there's some very rare attributes to this set that I'm gonna show you guys. This came in kind of as a project watch. You know, 1680s are typically typically beat up because they were actually used and used quite well. I mean, they really held their own through the 70s and 80s. And when you see them now, sometimes you find them in the original condition that they've been worn in. And, you know, being that this one has slightly been polished here and there, it's not it's not an unpolished example. Uh, and it's got a pretty beat up crystal that's been polished several times. So back in the day, you didn't have to replace crystals, you just simply polished them and they came back to life and they look clear again. Uh, and this one particularly needs a new crystal, which I'm going to replace. It also needs a new crown. The cap of the crown actually busted off, so if you can see that. But again, the value here is the set. When we get into this set, well, I'll start showing you what it has. And you've got the original Rolex Submariner booklet. You've got your Rolex Oyster which is, you know, obviously the original papers. And then you've got all the hang tags. Okay, so this is where it gets really interesting. So this is where, this is where I, I've never seen one in person in my life because I've never seen a set come in this complete. But this is probably one of the rarest hang tags you can find on a Rolex Submariner. And this is the big bulky green one that basically explains the crown and so forth. It just basically says three dots on winding crown. Basically they're talking about the triple lock. So that's just what that means. And you've got the serialized in the green hang tag. And also you have the correct anchor, which is the 200 meter, which is the correct one for this. And again, here's something else you just don't see. You see the little tiny booklet they used to include back in the day explaining the auto lock revolving bezel and how it works. And this is just stuff that's really, really neat to see. And obviously there's some service records in here and some receipts. Uh, but again, this is a super complete set. Um, and when you have a complete set like that, market values can jump quite a bit. Uh, you can look at a set like this, you know, watch only would probably run you in this market, 12.5, 13.5, but being complete like this, you could expect to pay anywhere from 17 upwards of 20K, depending on how nice the dial and so forth is. And in this case, the dial and the hands are really nice. Not too much patina, but there's some some yellowing. It's more off, off white. Beautiful set, again. 1680 with the correct 9315 bracelet. So all the parts on the watch are completely period correct. There's nothing outside of the norm here. There's no service parts, which it could use. I'm gonna replace the crystal and the crown after this video actually. So this will be fixed and repaired and on the website. So you'll find it shortly. I think it's up there now, but they kind of got to it before I could fix it. So you might see it in its current state. So if you wanna see the before and after, check out the website now and then look forward for the uh, updated pictures on the website once I get it fixed up. Next watch. I don't even actually know what this next watch is, so let's find out together. It is a Patek. Uh, actually, does it say here on this box? Sometimes these boxes are correct. No, there's just a bunch of numbers and cardboard. So let's just dive right into it. The one thing I love doing, actually I don't love doing, is unboxing Pateks. Because they are a pain to put back together. There's so much foam and so forth. It's such a mess. When you think you're, you know, you're halfway there, you gotta run into this bad boy. You gotta deal with this cloth they include that wraps the box. So the next watch here, beautiful watch. I'm really digging these. I'm really, really getting into Patek lately. And this is the Patek Philippe 5168G in blue. It is white gold. And this one comes as brand new as such. It's absolutely gorgeous watch. Uh, it's very simple, but yet very present. Um, it, we don't see too many of these come in in this condition, which is like just perfect. Um, they make this 5168G a couple different ways. Uh, they have blue and they have green, which are the ones you see all the time. And obviously it looks like a 5167R or 5167A, which are the simple time and date Aquanauts. Well, this one designated the 5168G. I believe it's a dash 010 for blue. I, don't hold me that I'm still learning Pateks. Of course, these come with an exhi exhibition back, so you can right see through the back of these, which is beautiful, because you get to see that movement that they, you know, have tastefully mastered. Uh, looks really good. Uh, you get the white gold buckle and white gold case. 
So again, very, very nice, very nice Patek. Also very rare. So getting one of these is obviously like Rolex. You have to have a crazy relationship to get a 5168G at retail. Right now, these are currently trading at 70 to $80,000 plus in the market, especially new, they could be higher. Um, but this one is this one is actually unfortunately just sold as of today. A uh, client called and actually bought couple of watches for himself. This one and the next watch I'm about to show you. Let me know in the comments below which one you like more. Do you like the blue 5168G more or do you like the green one? All right, if I'm not mistaken, the next watch is very similar to the last watch you just saw. A little different color. This is the 5168G in green. So, excuse me one minute while I unbox another Patek. It's so much, it's so much work unboxing a Patek. This is a badass watch. It's a 5168G in green, solid green strap, solid green dial. This kind of takes having a Hulk to the next level. If you have a Hulk in this watch, you kind of can't wear the Hulk really. I mean, you can, but this is just completely stout. This is an amazing watch. Again, it's a 5168G in green. They do have a different dial code. So like, kind of like Rolex with the white tag, it kind of says dash 0001 or whatever. They kind of do the same thing with Patek. I believe green, let me see if it says here. Yes, it says 010, so I was wrong on the blue one. So the blue one is, I think it's a, I don't know, that's it's a 001 or something, but this is a 010. It is incredibly hard to get, you know, 5168Gs are becoming increasingly popular, especially the market's kind of heating up again. The market price on these start around 85 and go up to 100. So if you ever find one of these, hold on to it. I, I think it's a great investment piece for the long future. Uh, as back then, you know, back in, you know, 2017, 2018, 2019, you could pick these up for, you know, mid fifties, maybe less. A couple of fun facts about the 5168G is it's actually a 42.2 millimeter case versus a 5167, which is a 40.5 millimeter case. These were introduced in 2019, uh, while the blue one I believe was released in 2017. Uh, so when you do buy one of these, you know, the most annoying thing to me personally is you have to actually snip these straps to size. So there's no quick release as far as like adjusting it to size. If you happen to cut this too short, you're stuck buying another strap. 5168G Aquanaut, beautiful watch. Very, very, very much the same watch as the 5168G in blue, just different colors. Current price of this watch, retail, if you can get it, if you're lucky enough, is only $49,090. However, current market price in today's dollars and the United States, you're gonna pay anywhere between 85 to $100,000. So if you can get your hands on retail, obviously do it. So. There we go for the Paddock 5168Gs. We had both in blue and green. Unfortunately, they sold as a set. Somebody bought both of them together because why not? If you're gonna buy the blue one, why not get the green one while you're at it? So congratulations to the buyer. You're getting two very, very amazing watches. And I'm very jealous, you know, because I actually kind of wanted to keep one of these, but that's okay next time. Also, one thing I love about Pateks is they're one of the noisiest brands out there. I don't know if you can, Every time I'm talking to somebody and they have a real one of these, like you just know right away because when they're moving their wrist around, so you're gonna, it, just, it just sounds like a top in there. All right, one more messy Patek and we're done. We don't have the outer box for this guy. This is a very unique watch. It's very cool. This is the Patek 5524G. It's a pilot's watch uh, and it's very interesting at that. And I'll show you why. So there you have it. This is the blue dial Patek 5524G with a beautiful blue strap. It also comes with a tan strap, which, which you will see on the website is how they advertise it. Uh, what's really interesting about the 5524G is that it's got two crowns protruding from the left side of the case and one crown on the right side, which the two crowns on the left side control the GMT function. So if you unscrew this, it only, it doesn't even unscrew. It actually just kind of twists out and then you can control that hour hand one way and then you can control it the other way. So you have a jumping hour hand function with this exhibition case back as well. It's very pretty. It's considered a Calatrava, but again, it's far prettier than your average Calatrava. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking dress watches you can get uh, from Patek, in my opinion. You know, it's one of my favorite. With that blue strap, blue dial, it's dark blue. It almost looks black. It really stands out and pops. And this is a 2020 model complete. They're made out of white gold, so you know they're gonna have some nice heft to them, very good weight, and you can definitely hear that movement. It's very satisfying sound and famous 
Again, every time I hear, you know, automatic Pateks, they just have a very unique sound. I mean, they really do. Current market of these right now are between forty to $45,000 complete. Current retail price from Patek Philippe is $57,370. That's quite a bit from what it trades for now. So this is a watch that trades under retail. It does not trade above retail. Currently, you can pick one of these guys up for around as low as 40K up to about 45 to, you know, right under 50, but typically you're gonna spend mid 40s for one of these. Again, it's definitely worth picking up because it's a good buy. They definitely been going up throughout the years. Uh, you know, the last couple of years, I've seen them rise from being a high 20K watch to mid 30K watch. Now they're trading past 40K. So it's a very solid watch. You know, you really can't go wrong with this piece. It's kind of confusing with these crowns. I mean, there's crowns all over the place. If that's your thing, this is definitely the watch for you. If you like something a little bit more simple, you can go down to a Calatrava which is just basic, simple time dress watch. You know, they look the part for any very dressy occasion, but this watch can also be used in a very dressy situation or very sporty situation. You can wear this with t-shirt and jeans and get an amazing look out of it. That would wrap up the 5524 for us. And that is all of our watches for today's segment. I hope you guys enjoy the segment. Let me know what your favorite watch of the segment was and which one you would pick out of all these four.